Hi guys, it's Michaela and welcome to my channel and welcome to a new project pan. Uh, Happy New Year, I'm excited to have you guys. I've got a new items to pan, I've got a couple of things I'm going to do differently this year. If you missed last year's project pan, I will leave that playlist link down below. But let's go ahead and get right into the items I am planning on panning this year. I'm going to go ahead and start with my Benefit Cabral. Um, I'm going to, this is where kind of the, a few of the differences come in this year. I'm not going to try and pan this whole thing and I'm not just going to play it out throughout the year to see how much I get done. I set a goal to use this 100 times. So, um, this is one of those things I'm debating on decluttering. It's at a place where it might be getting old now, so I just I want to see if I still like it or not, if it's still good enough to keep using. So that's kind of part of the reason why I put this in, just to see if it is something I still enjoy and, and I want to continue to keep in my collection. This is a mini, by the way. This next item here is one of those items that I could finish off with within this month. I think that I can do this by the end of the month so I just wanted to start myself off easy and this is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer. It's uh, just a mini so this is kind of where I'm starting. Hopefully the camera will pick up on it okay. But anyway I don't know how well that's gonna work but that's where the starting line is. Again I think I can have this finish by the end of the month. Um, my next item on my list, and I've got them all lined up right here, is my absolute favorite foundation of all time. It is the Urban Decay Stay Naked Foundation. I figured I'm almost done using it, so why not just try to use it up? I Realistically, I think I can finish this within the next two to three months, maybe even four months, but that's the starting point. Um, I'm feeling pretty good about it. This is a foundation that I naturally reach for whenever I'm doing, like, a makeup look where I just really want a reliable product on and this has been like my number one go-to for since it got released I believe in 2019 so I do want to finish this up. Uh, the next item here is the Ulta Baked Beauty the Ulta Beauty Baked Bronzer. This is another one of those items that I play on and I'm using this 100 times and then I'm gonna roll it out. Um, I just I feel like I don't think I can finish it this year so I did want to give myself a usage goal to see how much I can use this and then after that's done I'll roll something else in its place but it's not one that I reach for too often but I, when I do reach for it I do love it so again I just wanted to see how much I really do like this uh, the next item uh, is another blush I know the blush last year was not successful at all but uh, I do like this color more. I do like this formula more. It's the color pop Super Shock Cheek in the shade Too Cool for School. I already have pretty good pan on it, so I do want to try to finish this up. I believe I can probably finish it up by around August is my best guess. Um, you know, give or take a month, but I feel like I can do it, and I feel like I could, can be successful on it. This is a color that I do wear a lot. It is a cream blush, so I am kind of wanting to work through my cream blushes a little bit just because they do expire faster. Uh, this next item uh, is actually an item that I did use last year. I used the bronzer side last year, but this is the e.l.f. Baked Bronzer Highlighter Duo, and this year I'm going to pan the highlighter side. I was so successful with the bronzer last year that I just wanted to work on the highlighter and see if I can get this completely used up. Uh, again, I think I can finish this by August, maybe September, October, just kind of depends on how fast I go through this highlighter, but I already have a pretty big dip in it, so I don't think it'll take me all year long to finish up. I think, again, by August, I feel like I can have this done. Last up in this project is the one product that I am actually rolling in from last year because I thought I would finish it, and then I departed it, and there's still a lot left, and that is my Urban Decay Vice Lipstick in the shade liar. Um, I so badly wanted to finish this, but again, just couldn't quite do it. Um, I started not wearing as much makeup towards the end of the year, so that's probably why, but I do think I can finish this fairly soon. Uh, I would say one month, but based on what I learned about last year from when I depotted lipstick, it actually took like three or four months. So I'm probably going to say two or two to three months to finish this. Granted, this color here is the color I wear a lot more often than the one I did depot last time. 
um, but I do think I can finish this fairly early on. Starting the year off, I have already used this 64 times since being in the project. So I'm gonna and with that, I hope you enjoy going on this journey with me for uh, 2022. And uh, if you're new here, welcome. I do videos focusing on beauty and lifestyle, and I would love it if you would hit that subscribe button. Click the bell button down below so you get notified whenever I upload, and I will see you in the next one. God bless you, and bye, guys.